Hey, みなさん、こんにちは。And welcome back to Unit 2. This is the second lesson. In the first lesson of Unit 2, we learned the four pronouns like this, that, and、uh, over there, that, like この、これ、それ、あれ、and、uh, which, どれ。So each of these also have the、um, adjective versions. So the pron these pronouns can follow a noun, and、uh, we can learn to say like this bag or that. Watch or that bicycle and things like that. So, each of these、uh, pronouns we learned、uh, in lesson one, kore, sore, are, dore, they can take the no endings to connect to nouns. Kono, sono, ano, dono. So, kono tokei will be this watch, this watch that I have right now. Kono tokei wa ikura desu ka? いくらです how much? いくらですか How much is this watch? その時計、その、with like that watch, その時計は三千円です。That watch is three thousand yen. どの will be which? So which now? どの学生、which student が日本人ですか So which student is Japanese? あの学生です。So that student is no gakusei this. So,、um, remember back from the、uh, first lesson of Unit 2,、uh, we learned kore, sore, are, dore. These had the、uh, rules on like, which one to use depending on the distance of the object and the speaker and the listener. So, same rules apply to these kono, sono, ano, dono as well. So, if you don't remember these rules, you can go back to Unit 2 1, the first lesson, and、uh, review, recap those rules. So, kono something will be used for something that,、uh, that is close to the speaker. So, like the, if I hold my phone, then this phone, kono smartphone, kono smaho, this is like something very close to the speaker. Sono will be for the objects that is near the listener. So if I say sono tokei, that watch, that'll be the watch that you are holding that's far away from me, speaker, but close to the listener, you. Ano over there, that's something that's far away from both the listener and the speaker. So like that over there. Finally, dono something is which something. Dono tokei, which watch? Dono gakusei, which student? So, conjugation wise again,、uh, make sure that these pronouns always follow a noun. Kono hon, this book. Sono tokei, that watch, things like that. Don't confuse them with the kore, sore, are, dore we learned in the previous lesson. These stand alone. Kore wa something. Sore wa something. So, these do not follow the noun. So, make sure that you Don't confuse kore, kore, sore, are, dore, and kono, sono, ano, dono. Okay,、uh, another phrase to follow a noun this is dare no, whose, whose something. So、uh, asking for who, who this item belongs to. Kore wa dare no smaho desu ka? Dare no smaho, whose smartphone? This is whose smartphone? So, Sally's smartphone. Are wa, dare no saifu desu ka? Dare no saifu. Whose wallet is that? So, dare no and noun, you can、uh, basically con、uh, you can basically express whose item. So, dare actually means who. So, whose will be dare no. So, I think the structure is very、uh, straightforward. So, this is how to kind of ask for. This is always a, this is always a question sentence. Whose item is this? Is that? Dare no? Noun. 